She's an interior designer with her own furniture, home decor, and even baby lines. She has an amazing YouTube channel where she gives home makeover advice, and she's here today to show us a really unique technique to wall art. Welcome, Wendy Bellissimo. Thank you. This is so cool, Wendy. So this is so simple, easy, inexpensive, and here it is here, the finished product. And I'm going to show you how to do it. I'm going to have you guys help me so you can see how easy it is. But before we get into it, I actually want to get some background on how you actually got into the design world here in LA. It's such an interesting story. Oh, okay. I grew up in Connecticut. I was um, in my mom's furniture store. I studied interior design for years, came out to LA. I was working in a store here. And one night they called me and said, and I had only been here for about a month, don't come to work tomorrow. We're closing. And uh -oh. I was like, oh no, what am I going to do now? And my fiance, who's my husband now, um, at the time he said, you know, everyone loves those throw pillows that you made for our sofa. Why don't you make pillows and sell them? And I thought it was kind of a crazy idea, but I had a bunch of um, discontinued um, swatches of fabrics in the back of my trunk. I pulled those out, went and bought some um, fabrics to match it, and I sewed together 30 pillows on a pea green sewing machine. Oh my gosh. Wow. And I took hefty bags and um, my husband said, okay, I'm going to take you to some cool stores around L.A. First store we went into, I walked in with my hefty bags. I was so scared <laughs> oh my God. and embarrassed. And the woman bought 29 of the 30 pillows. Wow. So, good job. It kind of started with that. Sewing all day, all night, filling orders, you know, shipping them ourselves. What was wrong with the 30th? I know. I, know, <laughs> I, I don't know what that 30th pillow was. But now uh, look, you're a super successful yeah. designer. Okay, show us how to make this. This is so cool. Okay, so you take these wooden letters here. Or you can also use the cardboard style. And you just need aluminum foil and some decoupage and some shoe polish. And you're going to cut your aluminum foil pieces into like credit card size, business card size. And the, a really important thing that you want to do here is to make sure that you kind of work the foil in your hands a little bit so it gets a nice texture to it. And then you just take your decoupage. It's kind of like high and, class paper mache here. Yeah, there we go. Right. You guys, can and, they help? Can I yes, do absolutely. And you And you get these at like a Michaels or a... Okay. Yes, you know, yeah. I mean this whole thing was only $25 to make, wow. which is great. And, and then you have aluminum foil at your house. You yeah, know. and then you just you place it on, and then you want to put your decoupage on top. Uh, no. <laughs> and, then one, and, and another tip is make sure you do the outside edges first, because um, that'll be easier when you put your second layer down the middle. So putting the decoupage on top also seals it and keeps it in it, place. Yes, and I like to use the matte wait, finish wait, decoupage, but you can also do shiny if you wait, want you a high gloss finish. Where did you get this idea? Uh, okay, so. My daughters came home from school with this amazing project. It was different than this. It was actually a full piece of aluminum foil, and they put some foam stickers underneath, so it created this really cool kind of abstract-looking art. And I thought, that's amazing. So I called the art teacher and said, how did you get that patina to it? And she said, I put shoe polish over it. Wow. And I thought that was really cool. They were little. They were like polish. five, seven, <laughs> oh, five, seven, eight, and... Nine, and you're hanging in your house, and everyone's impressed. Yeah, that our is friends adorable. who are like collect art were like, "That's amazing! Where did that come from?" And I was like, "Wendy, be honest. The Does girls your are do this with well, you. Does, Does your husband do this with um, you? Well, he helps me, you know, like with oh, the over it? this type of Making stuff. But no, board. he doesn't do the crafting. Yeah. He's so an amazing we, cook. He's an incredible he? chef. Yes. Here you go. We'll continue with this. How do okay. we get it to look distressed after you put the? Dip? Okay. So basically, after this is done, so the, here's a finished letter for you, so you can see what it looks like here. You can either keep it like this, or you can go ahead and give it the patina, which I love doing. Mm -hmm. So patina anyway. just means distressed. Yeah, it just gives it kind of that, Thin you layer. know, an, an older look. It gives it. A little more texture, a little more color. So you can basically, the beauty of this is you can go as far as you want with it. By you the way, those paper towels. I just realized it's XO, like kiss. I thought it was for Roger's ox. Oh, jeez. Oh, I thought it was a I mean, it's kiss, hug, hug, kiss. It's right. just the okay. it's You know just what? The we can't get through a day without these two insulting one another at some point or another. So, so then you wipe you it off. It's, right. just, it's just regular shoe polish. Yes. Yeah, so, and you can make it as heavy as you want or as light. I suggest starting off lighter. And then if you decide you want more patina, you just put more on. But you want to kind of rub it in so it gives that 
Don't rub it really in. nice look. Don't rub it in. Exactly. <laughs> now, what about the board? How do we get the board? Okay, so then for the board, Ooh, basically, um, like you just get a piece of burlap. You can use good. natural burlap, you can use white burlap, and your staple gun. And you want to stretch it over the top. You're going to want to cut your edges here so you can get a really nice fold. And this is just a piece of wood? Just it's just a piece of wood, and it was only, um, the piece of wood was $7.99. It was already cut. I got it at the Do It Center. Oh, there you go. oh, oh. Yeah. do you want me to help you hold it? Sure. Okay, so hold it really taut. Yeah. And I love, staple guns are just, they're amazing. They really are. They're so easy. My 11 year old uses this. Drills okay. and staple guns, every woman should have one. So that, there you go. <laughs> right, I love them. Uh -huh. I love a drill too, the power comes uh -huh. Power drill, and that's it. So then you have this Beautiful board now. So how do we put and the letters on? So, and then you just use some Gorilla Glue here. Uh -huh. And then, so this is the double barrel. This stuff is amazing. And you, you put it in, you mix it together, you set. let it set for 20 seconds. And then, yeah, and then. Oh boy, and it's then, set. <laughs> oh, that's set. <laughs> no, that's already set. Um, and then you just, you put it on the back and then you just hold it down real quick for like five seconds and then after about 10 minutes it's already adhered. And there's your final product. Love in tic-tac-toe.